Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Clay the Carpenter! We are! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Garrett Brunson believes this matchup to be favorable, and most of the recent performances for Brunson have been really strong. He has aligned with Henry Hoof there at Sanford MMA in South Florida. For most of his career, he was reluctant to leave North Carolina, and as soon as he did, he unleashed a version 2.0 that has wreaked havoc across this middleweight division. Just misses there with the left. So now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is tricking four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, oh he is stunned, trying to recover here. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two man on up and cut. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. And he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Brunson swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. Right there, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Sweetie Bird over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. This is crazy round of fight. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go get. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends. Right on the left. Perfect little shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all the fighters. It is very difficult to do. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60. All right, so let us now check it. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, check it out underway. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the 50,000. so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Triangle is deep. He's got it locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got it. 
These guys are back and forth. Submission defense wins this transition. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters. <laughs> shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number two.